hello guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl nurse sabina a Ghanaian trained psychiatric nurse practicing in the republic of ireland guys if it's the first time that you're coming across my channel i welcome you please do subscribe like comment and share to and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for always being on this channel kindly click on the notification button and you will always be notified anytime i post new videos today's video guys if you are a registered psychiatric nurse trained outside ireland and you are looking forward to practice continue your practice in ireland then this video is for you because you know literally you have two options um to choose one in order to acquire your psychiatric nursing license in ireland before you can actually practice legally to pass um adaptation which you do in between six to twelve weeks and then you need to pass that or you take the ireland rcsi and you need to pass both the cbt and the all scheme so in today's video i am making it for any psychiatric nurse to take the ireland psychiatric rcsi or all scheme i'm going to talk about a particular station that if you don't do certain things in this station you are giving room to fail this particular station so which of these psychiatric stations am i talking about just stick and stay with me this is your girl nessa Abena. keep subscribing like comment and share to any fellow psychiatric nurse that you know that is preparing to take the ireland rcsi for psychiatric nurse in today's video i'm talking about the aggression de-escalation station in the rcsi or skipat now guys to so my fellow psychiatric nurses that are yet to take the OSCE just know that if you fail to do these things that I'm going to talk about in this video then it means that you are actually giving a way for you to fail this aggression de-escalation station now what are these things that i'm talking so, about you know you go into the station and there is an aggressive patient and the task for you is to de-escalate this aggression now do not forget that there is a descriptor for you to read outside even before you go into the station now one room that you will create for failure is you failing to read and understand the descriptor even before entering the station yes failing to understand your task before entering and failing to understand certain um aspects of the descriptor can also give you room to fail so number one thing that you need to do before you enter the aggression de-escalation station is to take your time read and understand the descriptor know the content of it know your tags all the tags are outlined on the descriptor outside for you and you need to grab that content before you enter the station that is rule number one after you enter the station and then you meet this aggressive patient telling you to open the door for him to go out yes he is a voluntary patient he has every right to leave the center his family are calling him his people are calling him he is the king of poland or i mean the king of irish i know those patients will actually be displaying aggressively now rule number two that can give you room to fail is you failing to do a quick mental state examination yes failing to quickly assess the patient mentally to have a baseline data to make a decision to de-escalate his aggression will give you room to Go fail as much as possible and get the patient to sit with you and then you display your communication techniques and then you can do your mental state assessment now the motive for the mental state assessment is to get a baseline data to base on and make a decision now what decision are you going to make to de-escalate the aggression in this station now this is where a lot of people tend to fail because there is a particular thing that they expect to hear from you and if you don't talk about it you are likely to fail the station now what is this rule number three. from the rule number one i told you that you need to read and understand your descriptor very well now if you do that you will realize that in the descriptor the mental health acts 2001 section 23 was outlined in the descriptor it has something to do with the de-escalation now they expect you to use the mental health act 2001 section 23 
to de-escalate this aggressive patient. Now, how do you go about it? After the mental state assessment, you might have identified some evidence of hallucination, some evidence of delusions, and you know, some other behaviors that poses a risk to him and others. So with that, you cannot let such a patient, even though he is a voluntary patient, but you cannot let him go because of his current situation so now how do you de-escalate his aggression if you don't talk about the mental health act to de-escalate the patient after your mental state examination know that you have created a room for failure now let's look at the mental health act 2001 section 23 what does it say it says that a registered psychiatric nurse has the power to prevent a voluntary patient from leaving an approved center the approved center can be um a specialist or rehabilitation center that has been approved by the mental health commission or a psychiatric hospital approved by the mental health commission so wherever this patient has been admitted this is where uh, you need to um, implement this act so as a registered nurse on shifts where this patient is being aggressive demanding to exit or to leave the facility now this is where the mental health act gives you the registered nurse the power or the attorney to detain him or her so the assessors expect you to talk about this section 23 of the mental health act to de-escalate this aggressive patient so all that you can say is that maybe after my mental state assessment i have observed that your current situation poses a risk to you and others and therefore i'm basing on the mental health act section 23 to detain you then escalate to the psychiatrist to come and review you exactly what the assessors want you want to hear from you regarding the mental health act if you fail to talk about the mental health act it's a wahala now, for you after being able to explain the mental health act session 23 to the patient to de-escalate his aggression now he knows that you are using the law to detain him and and not you willingly denying him from um, leaving the facility so now immediately that is done the next thing the assessors expect from you is to escalate the situation to the consultant psychiatrist so you immediately need to speak to the psychiatrist that this is the current situation on your ward and therefore you have based on the mental health act section 23 to detain the patient and therefore you are calling him to come and review the patient immediately if you fail to talk about all these in your aggression de-escalation station it means that you have created a room for failure if you are a psychiatric nurse getting ready to take your um irish or scheme to gain your psychiatric nursing pain then you need to take this video serious get used to the mental health act so you'll be able to express yourself to the, the last thing you should never forget to do in the aggression de-escalation station is your documentation yes remember to document everything that you did for the patient in the station the mental state assessment you did um the explaining the mental health act to him to detain him escalated to the consultant psychiatrist what did the psychiatrist say did the psychiatrist agree to come and review the patient immediately all these in a summary should be in your documentation and that is how you end the aggression de-escalation station and you walk out majestically with that confidence that you have actually sailed through the station but if you fail to do majority of these things that i have mentioned ha i wish you all the best it guys. is doable all you need is to know the descriptor know your tax and then keep practicing continuously to build your confidence because it's more like a drama station yes and you know if you don't have the confidence it will be difficult for you to also bring the drama in you out so that is all key for you so make sure that you practice continuously to build your confidence know the fact know what to do at each point in time in the station and then all things will end in praise this video will benefit any psychiatric nurse getting ready to take the ireland psychiatric oski i wish you all the best there are other videos on the oski stations that you can actually make time and watch on my youtube channel and then it will go a long way to thank help. you so much guys for making time 
to watch this video once again guys you need to forgive me i'm not actually feeling well this bad voice so guys just forgive me but i needed to do this for my fellow nurses getting ready to take the um oski so i wish you all the best go on the rcsi psychiatric um preparation website there are more information about all the psychiatric stations and there are more information to help you in your preparation attaching the preparation the rcsi preparation website to so the description of this video so that you can just click on the link and it takes you straight up to the preparation website for you to have all the necessary Forget. information that's this your girl nurse sabina a psychiatric nurse practicing in the republic of ireland and this is my channel so i urge you to keep subscribing hit on the notification button you will always be notified anytime i post new videos and keep liking keep commenting and keep sharing for fellow overseas nurses to also get hold of the relevant information to help them in their migration to the republic of ireland and join us and finally become irish registered nurses i wish you I guys wish you all the best see you in my next video Bye -bye.